I'm going to show you how to upgrade the triangle beater for any of your original Miller machines. If you have a Grover Pro model, you don't need to do this. The upgrade kit will include the new 5 16th inch brass beater, a hex wrench, an eye bolt with a grommet, and a tiny little o-ring. I've got all three versions of the original machine here to show you how to do it. The first two versions have chrome eye bolts with either a collar lock or a rubber washer on the beater. For the first version, use the included hex wrench to loosen the collar lock and remove both the beater and collar lock from the machine. Set both of these aside. For the second version, pull the beater and rubber washer off and set those aside. Next, you'll remove the smaller eye bolt from the machine. You can use the old beater to do this. Once removed, place the new eye bolt into the same hole and tighten it down about four full turns. You can use the new beater to help with tightening. Just be careful not to bend the shaft. It might be easier to do this with a pair of pliers. Using the beater, adjust the height of the eye bolt until you get the shaft of the beater parallel with the body of the machine. Once it's adjusted properly, slide the o-ring onto the shaft of the beater and slide the beater through both eye bolts. The o-ring will rest against the smaller eye bolt. Double check that the beater is parallel with the body of the machine. The final step is to install the red latex tubing. Adding a drop of hand sanitizer to the end of the tubing will help it slide onto the end of the beater. Make sure that it's flush with the back of the beater. And that's it. It may take a bit for the hand sanitizer to evaporate, so give that about half an hour before using your machine. The third version has black eye bolts. Pull out the beater and rubber washer and set those aside. For this version, you'll keep the eye bolt on the machine and just remove the grommet. Pop the old grommet out and install the new one. This can be a little tricky. I found that using a little screwdriver can help. Be careful not to jab your hand. Once you get it installed, take the new beater, put it into the grommet and spin it around. This helps to seat the grommet. Slide the beater onto the machine and check to see if the beater is parallel to the body. If not, adjust the eye bolt up or down. I use pliers to make this adjustment. You can also use the end of the triangle beater. Just be careful not to bend the shaft. Once it's adjusted properly, slide the o-ring onto the shaft of the beater and slide the beater through both eye bolts. The o-ring will rest against the smaller eye bolt. Add a drop of hand sanitizer to the end of the tubing and slide it onto the end of the beater. Make sure that it's flush with the back of the beater. And that's it. It may take a while for the hand sanitizer to evaporate, so give it about half an hour before using your machine. Thanks for watching.